Okay. So How's it working? It's working good. Okay. Um, could I have you introduce yourself and talk about your role with the conference? Okay. So, do I look at you? You can, whatever, is more, whatever is more comfortable. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Um, my name is Alejandra Udinho. I am the coordinator for inclusive education for the Division of Inclusion, Diversity and Equity um, at the University of Missouri in Columbia. I have uh, been part of the planning committee of the Cambio um, conference for 18 years. And so, um, I have um, been here since the very beginning and um, the conference is very special to me. It gives me the opportunity to, to learn from people that I admire and to spend some time around colleagues that are just uh, smart and um, good heartfelt people. And uh, we had some fun too. We went to visit, we get to follow into each other's family. After a while, a lot of the Cambio Conference attendees become extended family as well. So that's, that's my role, Sweet. chief leader in chief. <laughs> um, so how long have you been with the conference a long time? So how have you seen it grow since it was in its infancy? Um, in a couple of ways, um, I think, for example, this morning when I was driving here um, uh, on our public radio, it was an interview to our conference organizer, to Veronica, and it was feels so good to be on my car and hear the way the conference was introduced and hear the relevant of what we do in times where we are afraid of the other in times when we don't know how to have a voice, find our voice, and, and feel that we have enough information that we can um, produce um, a conversation, that we can hold a space to have good conversations and difficult conversations, but out of that we can really kind of come together and, and find some possible solutions. Um, that is very important. I have seen it grow as I have seen many students come and buy and they have done their dissertations. So for example, our keynote speaker yesterday, she came here the first time as a student three years ago. And she felt inspired about what we did and what everybody else is working on it. And so much so that her research landed us to invite her to be our keynote speaker. And she was brilliant the way she translated research, the way she has the clarity to explain very complex intersections and very complex um, situations in a, in a way that, that we can relate to and that we can feel we not only have an understanding, but maybe we can, from that understanding, we can find an action. I think this is, this is for me, probably a proud moment. Yeah. So seeing people come back year after year and become a family, yeah. And we see them go too. Many of them relocate. Um, many of our colleagues um, move to different positions. And for whatever they are, we have a very expansive network. And that network allows us to, to learn from each other better. And as I grow older, I think for me, having a network of people where I can have the comfort to speak my mind and to use my voice without the fear of being misinterpreted is very critical. Um, so that for me sums it out. It is a very important conference um, for the Midwest, um, not only in terms of what we bring to the table, but in terms of the space that we hold for each other in order to advance conversations and research. And so there's a lot of conversations right now in today's Yes, it is. So yeah. has that influence at all how you guys structured the conference this year? Good morning. Um, yeah, I think, that, I think the way the title of the conference was chosen um, was trying to... Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> we can pause it if you want to for a minute. I think here's... Oh, another one is coming. We're, we fight in the little cards. 
I think I think the way the conference was structured this year um, is uh, is a direct reflection of the moment in history that we are living, uh, not only in the United States but in the world. Um, and so, for me particularly, understanding that fear in the other is just nothing more than than that. The fear that needs to come into light when we have research that show us the other in a different light. Um, the other mean the people that we are not, right? So if we are Latinos and brown and colored people, so white people see us as intruders. And uh, there is a very brilliant article in the New York Times that came up yesterday or the day before. They talk about the fear of white people of not becoming or not being the majority anymore. And so fear comes from the things that we don't understand. Fear comes from the things that we don't clearly see. And I think the role of the conference is to help us see better, to help us understand better. And so as a last question, I'll ask you, um, are there any other yeah. comments that you have about the conference and that you would like to say that you haven't gotten a chance to? Um, hmm, let me think. Just in general, um, a big thanks to, to Veronica for organizing um, at the drop of a hat. She's, she's fairly new at this, and she has done a splendid. And um, an invitation for younger scholars, a younger community members, um, whoever you are, you don't have to be, this doesn't have to be your, your research area. But if you would like to join us next year, we'll be very happy to host you um, because we need your voice, we need um, your experience, we need your questions. And so we can, we can create a bigger community and especially to our graduate students and undergraduate students, our Latinx students, um, come be part of the conference, present your papers, your research. Um, make us have so many posters that we have to expand <laughs> somehow. It's a good place to network and, and to find new friends. So an open invitation for everybody to join us. That would be fantastic. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. You're very kind.